guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a minute since I've done a video or makeup tutorial, but you know, it gets busy and life is really busy in the summer and vacations and work and all of that. But I'm back and I'm using a, a combination of two new products that I'm really excited to use, the I Have Sada E ColourPop uh, collaboration. And I used a combination of these two exciting palettes, the Saucy palette and the Shiki palette to get this makeup look right here, a very plummy makeup look. And it's a get ready with me because I got to get ready to go to Hamilton tonight with the family in San Francisco. I'm really excited. So if you want to see how I got this makeup look, keep on watching. All right, I'm going to get started by doing my brows and I'm going to go ahead and use this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brush with a little bit of a pointy end, angled brush and a spoolie at the end. And Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in dark brown. And go ahead and I'm going to just brush through my brows. I haven't done my brows on camera in such a long time or anything on camera in such a long time. Line the bottom of my brows and then kind of go and outline the, the top of the brow. Brush that through and do the other side. So yeah, we're going to Hamilton tonight in San Francisco and I was really excited I wasn't going to buy tickets because they're really expensive, but they're moving on to LA in a couple weeks and I'm going to be out of town for work. So I was thinking about, should I like take one daughter there? Cause you know, that's less expensive than taking four people. And then I'm like, well, that's not fair. And then should I take one at a time? And then I was like, okay. Let's ask my husband, see if he wants to go. He wants to go. So we're all going to go as a family. So that'll be fun tonight in San Francisco. I figure it's good for their historical knowledge. And plus, at least I'm trying how I rationalize spending that much money. Next, I'm going to take my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and just pump a little bit onto my hand here a little bit goes a long way this one is in nc20 and i like this one just because it's the nice it's full coverage and it's a nice consistency um it's liquid enough for it to be easily manipulated just to clean out that underbrow line so this is the trick guys if you are in between brow appointments you um just want that shape that you had when you had your your brows either waxed or threaded or, or whatever you guys decide to do. Um, and then you can clean it up so you can have that more well-defined shape. Next, I'm gonna go and prime the lids with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, the usual that I like to use. Take a little bit of that on a flat brush and this is really great because it neutralizes any dark, darkness or discoloration on your eyelids. Also a great primer. I tend to get super watery on my eyelids. So a little bit goes a long way. Blend that into the concealer that you have. Okay, for today's look, I'm gonna use the new products from I Love Sada E's collaboration with ColourPop. I'm so excited to try this. This is the first time I tried it. I was on vacation. Um, with family in the Cayman Islands and these came through and I was like wow I can't wait to try these and it's been a minute since I've shot a video because I've been so busy um, but I mean uh, uh, this one's a saucy palette um, and this one is a Shiki palette so I'll use a combination of the two of these and if you haven't followed or you don't follow I Love Sada E on Instagram and YouTube go ahead and do that she's super cute um, really talented makeup artist um, this one is the Saucy palette. It's got some nice coral and some plum shades, um, violet shades there. And then this one is a Shiki palette. And this one has some neutrals and then a sparkly color, sparkly kind of champagne pink and some browns and dark browns in there. So I'm going to use a combination. I don't know exactly 
what look I'm gonna go do tonight, but let's go, <laughs> let's get started. Um, this one, ooh, is this matte color called Distressed. I go ahead and it looks like a good color to set my eye, eyelids with. It looks like in just a nice matte kind of off-white color. And I'm using a fluffy matte brush. I don't know, the number has worn off. 224. So I wanna use this kind of champagne color on my lid. So I'm gonna go in, maybe I'll go with kind of plummy, plummy colors. So with the transition, I'm gonna go ahead and use this color here, which is um, Chic Happens, it's a matte color, kind of plummy on a 217 brush. Go ahead and do that in my crease. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Razzy, Razzy in the Saucy palette. This very dark kind of um, uh, plum, plum color. For the outer V. I can't believe the summer is almost over, guys. It's really, Hard to believe and kind of scary that time goes by so fast. And clean up the lid to make room for the shimmer. And just lay that back down. I'm gonna go ahead and wet that with some Mac Fix Plus. Take that shimmery color. Lay that down on the lid. Okay, so now I've laid down my lid color, the sparkly color. I'm going to go back in and just darken a little bit. I wasn't really going for a cut crease, but I'm just gonna define it a little bit more just for that added contrast. Should I do wing? Should I do, what do you guys think? Should I do wing? I think I'm just gonna line, but I'm not gonna do wing. have a little bit of a couple eyelash extensions left. We survived after being on vacation in the Cayman Islands and swimming and so fun. Very expensive as well, <laughs> Cayman Islands, but really, really fun. The water is amazing. And we usually, um, in California, it's not something that's particularly easy to get to, but uh, it was fun. And I'm just uh, going in with some uh, Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara. I will be putting falsies on. I haven't put on false lashes in a long time. Just because I've been on vacation and just busy working and it's been a while. Uh, for lashes today, I'm going to use the Lily Lashes right here in Miami. Clock is ticking. Okay, onto the face. Going in, in my primer. This is a Tarte Clean Slate. What is it? Clean Slate Timeless Primer. I use this all the time. I always forget what it's called. So for me, again, this is a really great primer. Helps to conceal your pores. I have huge pores. I tend to get oily throughout the day, especially on my forehead. This stuff is really, really good. Great smoothing primer as well. 
So I just take a little bit of this onto my uh, hand right here and just warm it up and then uh, smooth it onto the face just so it, it's, it's not so thick, I guess. Foundation, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 209. Uh, and I think I may be too tan for this right now, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway because I'm lazy and I don't want to have to mix right now foundations. But I'm gonna take a beauty blender, listen that up, just jab that. Won't be too bad, I guess. Okay, now that we got the foundation on, time to go in with the concealer. It's like my favorite part. I don't know why. It's my favorite part. But I'm going to go in with, this is Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It is in color light medium. Going in under the eyes. And I'm going to go right up to my nose and that's like trick just to narrow down the nose if you want that look. Perfect. Go ahead and blend that in. Setting this concealer with Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Back in with the Beauty Blender. really white. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it will it will be blended in. All right, I'm not gonna bake, which is just letting that powder sit in too long, just because I ain't got time for that right now. I need to jam. We've got dinner reservations in San Francisco. We're eating at a, um, uh, Italian restaurant that we really like to eat at in North Beach. So we're going to go there before the show. Just going to go ahead and wipe off all the excess powder. And then we're going to warm up the face back up after we've laid down that powder. Okay, before we bronze up the skin, I'm going to go ahead and actually do highlight next, which is different than the usual routine, I guess. Um, I've seen, I've been seeing a lot more people do that. I think it's a, I think they say it's a better transition to put the bronzer over the highlight. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to take my cream highlight first, which is TR from Jouer and go ahead and go into the areas I want to highlight. Cheekbone. Maybe a little right here. And then I'm gonna go back in with that. I'm since I'm we're doing a plummy color today, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera. This is a rose gold highlight. Doing that C shape. And then we can go in with the bronzer. And I'm using the NARS Laguna Bronza, just cause I have it out. Go back in and warm the face, hairline, jawline. And then for blush, I'm using, whew, it's kinda dirty, but I'm using the Morphe Tendi palette and it's got a lot of different pinks and peaches, some browns in here and I might mix a couple, maybe these, a couple of these 
these two looking for a little bit of a maybe I'll pick up a pink not sure just mixing have fun this is what makeup's for just with a sweeping motion mix mix apples of the cheeks okay now that we finished the face we can go back and finish the eyes and I'm gonna go back with some of the same colors I used. This is in the uh, Saucy palette. Go back in here and I'm gonna take a little brush here. This is a MAC 228 brush, really soft brush. Go back in um, so with Chic Happens, that plum color and just go and smoke out the lower lash line a little bit, just to match the colors here so that there's a little bit of cohesiveness on the top lid and bottom lid. I love these lashes, they're very wispy. And then I'm gonna take the darkest color of the palette and then go just on the outer, the outer edge. And I'm not gonna do any liner because the top is pretty dramatic enough. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm gonna go ahead with some finishing touches here before we go on to the lips. I'm gonna take my uh, Mary Luminizer. I'm not gonna show it to you because it is broken, but it's still good and I, I don't wanna lose it. I'm gonna use this Mary Luminizer for the inner corner eye highlight, which really helps to add a little extra on the eyes just to brighten that up we go in with a little bit more in some of those areas and then let's move on to the lips I'm gonna use a couple of new products uh, for me anyway the Huda Beauty lip contour pencil and this one is in trophy wife and color pops uh, ultra matte lip and this is in Viper. All right guys, that's a makeup look right here. A very plummy makeup look using some new products that I've been dying to try since I've come back from vacation. The I Love Savvy E ColourPop collaboration in the Shiki and Saucy palette. So I used a combination of those. Thanks so much for getting ready with me. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna go wear uh, for Hamilton tonight, so I'm really excited. So thanks so much. Hopefully you did like this look. If you did, give it a thumbs up on my channel and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you again next time.